So March the 2nd, 2023, I'm your host, Dana Durnford, and also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org. You can join in at 709-589-4406-4406. Hope everybody's having a great day, if that's possible. Supposed to do the stream last night, but um, lack of internet connection. And pretty adverse weather conditions around here for the last couple of weeks. I hate to think of something sinister. I blame it on the weather. And of course, the industry is notorious for being sinister. We want to talk about. How Japan is about to move people back into 3% of a community that's evacuated. You can't make a community safe. The community is called NAMI. And last um, number of days, we covered a story about the rice dance. They've been doing that for several hundred years there, where they brought in a bunch of kids into the nuclear wasteland. Very, very disappointing. Hi, everybody. Thank you. I see you there. <clears throat> uh, this was supposed to be the last show of the week. It was last night. We didn't get it out. It's um, almost noon, my time. And I like to put it out right now because it's, uh, we managed to get three shows in the week. This will be four shows. And that's really good seeming how... <laughs> it's been a rough month for me. They're going to lift evacuation orders for 3% of this community. Now, the problem with it is the community's been radioactive on a whole different level for 12 years. We're l running up onto the 12th anniversary and the 11th of this month in nine days. <coughs> And I wanted to come out and just attack that story only. And I'll do it in my usual fashion when I'm really upset about something with the nuclear industry is I'll focus in on it in Pacific. What you're seeing is the remains, the shattered, empty remains of two reactors, reactor three, reactor four. Reactor three to your left was a mixed oxide reactor. It was reactor that was, uh, the fuel was from missiles and nuclear fuel where they reclaimed the hot particles. It's illegal in the United States and Canada. <clears throat> it's very, very, very enriched fuel and it's a catastrophic event for a planet on its own. Unfortunately, there was eight fuel pools and four reactors that melted down. They successfully covered up the majority of it. <clears throat> they never stopped growing food, and in this depiction from the media, they're growing food right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation. They've never stopped doing it, and 14 prefectures were banned by 55 countries. So these are big prefectures, that's almost half of the country. It was banned by 55 countries for a decade, but not Canada. Canada removed all restrictions. The media reveled in lying and deceiving and manipulating you for the last 80 years, but in Pacific for the last 12. Nuclear activists to be constantly spied upon. Think about that statement. Uh, it shouldn't be nuclear activists, it should be people with conscience. Not conscientious objectors, but humans that have a moral obligation. They like to label you so then they can attack you. Oak Ridge had a fire at the plutonium plant. We covered that a few days ago. I haven't got into the cycle. We'll cover that, I guess, on Sunday. Think about this statement here is the Japan Times column as the public possibly worldwide sickens over time. 
The truth will leak out about Fukushima. That's a pun on words. As the public, possibly worldwide. Now, the reason they're suggesting worldwide is because that's how radioactive fallout actually works. Let me bring it over here. This model is based on 19 and a half days of radioactive fallout. Covers the entire planet. So to suggest that the public worldwide will get sick over time is correct. Is 100% correct. We like to remind you worldwide that you are very, very vulnerable to radioactive fallout. <laughs> So is the nuclear cause. Nobody is immune to this disease. It is the equivalent of a meteorite coming at your planet, but you can't see it. And they're not going to tell you. Unfortunately, we're on YouTube. YouTube is a pretty iffy site. It's been taken over by the lobbying groups. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you make it this far. Consider starting up a site and sharing this information. You can clip out important information and share it on many, many social networking sites. Don't let your children, don't raise your children on Spider-Man, the Hulk, and other entities from the industry that are meant to disenfranchise them from the real heralds in their lives like you and your aunts and uncles and your grandparents they can't compete against these fake superheroes and that's the point they have an endless barrage of superheroes and there's always another one in the pipeline remember in the old days we got rid of our problems we didn't let them fester we didn't distract ourselves we didn't pretend okay Okay, so Fukushima radiation is causing serious biological effects, major irreversible shift in the ecosystem. They're talking about the damage from the radioactive fallout. X ray like images show how radioactivity is spread throughout the bodies. Of Fukushima's wildlife. So it, it can't be contested, but yet the x ray images of the food shows no radiation. So how does that work? Everything is radioactive, nothing escaped this. They picked up 30 million one ton bags. The x ray images of the plants and the trees were the equivalent of miscarriages, stillbirths, malformation. These people would have died the same day. These are not going to be academics. They will be the victims of society. Children with over 11 beckles a kilogram of cesium start to see heart problems. Remember, they're shipping the food into your countries worldwide from multiple nuclear wastelands. At what point are you going to make a stand? At what point will you make Earth's last stand? Irreversible heart damage for children with 50 beckles a kilogram of cesium. You can put 2 million atoms on the head of a needle. Each one is considered a beckle a second, pulsing energy at the speed of light. So 50 of them, it can't be perceived, right? When you put 2 million atoms on the head of a needle and you can't see it, you can't perceive it, nor can you filter that. So how are you going to filter the 50 beckles in the food? You can't. And they're grown food throughout the entire nuclear wasteland that was banned, acknowledged deadly by 55 countries for a decade. The people who put the ban in place were replaced by pro-nuclear and who lifted the ban in all but 14 countries. Do you have a street where seven people dropped dead? in one year well nobody does except for Japan 
The only way to preserve human life is to completely turn away from nuclear power. This is a Nobel Prize winner on major media. And don't think because you're on the other side of the planet you're safe. You're being irresponsible if you think that way. And that's how they have trained you to be irresponsible, to be a victim. Part of Fukushima NAMI to exit evacuation orders on March the 31st. So the title doesn't give you any connotations, any indications of what's really going on. Part, think of that word part. They're actually only talking about 3% of a community that's abandoned. They're going to open it up just to prop up the nuclear industry. We have a poll reflecting that. Is Japan evil moving people back into a nuclear wasteland known as NAMI by opening a lousy, insignificant 3% of it? You can't clean up or you would open the whole community, see? Saying that 3% of an abandoned community is magically going to be safe when it's surrounded by millions of one-ton bags is not delusional, it's evil. It's the very epitome of everything you should fight against. Part of Fukushima NAMI to exit evacuation orders, which sounds a lot better than 3% of a nuclear wasteland to be open to trick people into complacency. To exit the evacuation order, whoever wrote that story should get beat up every day for the rest of their lives. Would you move back into a nuclear wasteland? Is there anybody that gullible? Well, there is. And they were made gullible on purpose. 30 million one-ton bags that they admit to. Go and if you don't believe what I'm talking about, go write on each of those 30 million one-ton bags that Dana is wrong, and then maybe you'll come to your senses. The Japanese government, the town of NAMI, the Japanese government is an uh, acronym for disgusting subhuman species. The town of NAMI in Fukushima prefectures and others agreed Wednesday. Others? Why don't you name who the others is, by the way? Agreed Wednesday to lift a March the 31st evacuation order for part... 3% of a town affected by the nuclear disaster. You're talking about an abandoned community where everything is rotten for 11 years. Surrounded by monsters growing food in the nuclear wasteland and millions and millions of one-ton bags. <clears throat> How do we quantify that? 3% of the town's total area surrounded by millions of one-ton bags of radiation. How the hell did we ever get to this point where that was conceivable, let alone implemented? How did we ever become that complacent? Well, it's the nuclear industry. You got one community has 3,000 Geiger counters that can barely find radiation surrounded by nothing but one-ton bags of radiation. Abandoned communities with Geiger Town has shown not very much radiation surrounded. These one-ton bags per kilogram are absurd numbers per kilogram in these one-ton bags. Minimum is 100,000 beckles a kilogram. But yet the Geiger counters, the fake Geiger counters, don't reflect a fraction. They're right alongside of abandoned communities, abandoned businesses where they're growing food right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation. Do you think they abandon all of these vehicles because there's no radiation? Do you really think they abandoned their businesses because there's no radiation? Do you really think that these meltdowns effects goes away in a few years? Do you really think that they're inside of a building that doesn't even exist? How the hell did we ever get to this 
where the media feels that it's acceptable to go out and pretend they're in a nuclear meltdown that don't exist. How the hell did we ever get to this point where they pretend that the inside of a destroyed multiple fuel pool meltdown, reactor core meltdown, everything is hunky-dory? These are the official pictures. And so is this. Radioactive fallout covering the entire planet in 19 days, but is perfectly safe at ground zero. How, in goodness sakes, do we ever end up? Because your media reveled in destroying your common sense, that your critical thinking skills. Alert, Fukushima peaches are on sale outside the prefecture. Well, they shouldn't be on sale anywhere. They shouldn't be harvested anywhere. It's a nuclear wasteland, for goodness sakes. Protesting the secrecy law is an act of terrorism. An act of terrorism. Japan government promotes the idea you're racist if you avoid radioactive nuclear food. The entire process echoes of George Orwell, nuclear activists to be constantly spied upon. We have a whole folder full of that stuff, by the way. Uh, rice grown near the nuclear meltdowns in 2013. The farmer said, I wouldn't eat it. We feel guilty growing it and selling it. But this... This nuclear industry has never been held accountable for anything, not a single time. In fact, they dump it into your estuaries, your lakes, your rivers, your oceans, because all they're going to get is an insignificant fine. It's cheaper to take the fine than it is to deal with it for a million years. Mother from Fukushima plants with huge, huge flowers, gigantic stems, deformed vegetables. When he brought it to get a testing, they said, don't you understand? We say it's safe. Imagine being treated with that kind of contempt. From the very people you hire to protect you. Groundbreaking study reveals Fukushima nuclear waste is poisoning the wildlife. Up to 99% of the offsprings died after eating low-level contaminated food. This, you're talking about butterflies in one of these studies where they went into houses that are abandoned and took the house plants back to Tokyo and fed the leaves to insects and the larvae all died. And they're growing food and feeding it to your loved ones. What do you think is going to happen? Because there's 1,800 diseases and illnesses and autoimmune deficiencies and injuries that will manifest typically before cancer. I don't do what I do every day because it's fun. <clears throat> it's not. It's heartbreaking every single day for me. Cesium-137 immediately damages the heart muscles. It's not slow-acting. The death rates might give the creeps to some people. Extreme increase in mortality from cardiac diseases. Not counting the rest of the people in this depiction that died in a single month, an abnormality, a spike. There was an extra 12.5% deaths from heart attacks. 12,000 extra 700, 12,700 extra people died in a single month from heart attacks. How can the world ignore that? Well, the world is not told about it. Pre-Fukushima was one in a million children would have thyroid tumors. Now it's 35, 358,000 per million children with tumors. Imagine, you know, you went from one in a million to 13,600 in a million. That's a catastrophic event, see? But imagine 13,600 out of 40,000 when it used to be one in a million. 
which brings it up to 358,000 of a million. And do you think growing food in nuclear wasteland and shipping it everywhere is going to drop the numbers or increase the numbers? Do you think nuclear is harmless after you made it this far in the video? Of course you don't. In 2019, a study came out on congenital malformations for neonates and infants was 14.2% per 100,000, 14,200 children needed open heart surgery across the entire country, not just Fukushima or the 14 prefectures that the food was banned from. As we were talking about the entire country. Japan Times, one of the biggest medias in Japan, tried to warn you. As the public, possibly worldwide, sickens over time, the truth will come out about Fukushima. We got a poll. Is Japan evil, moving people back into the nuclear wasteland, NAMI, by opening 3% of it? 95% of the people that voted understood the other 5% were the industry itself afraid their loved ones were going to find out the truth. It's impossible not to know that that's evil. It's impossible. Growing food alongside a one ton, alongside a one ton bags of radiation is not considered evil in my poll. How is that even possible? How is that conceivable? How is, can anybody be that disconnected? Hi, everybody. Um, DCA, you can get it at, and if you're in America, you can get it at any pharmacy. And a pharmacy with a compound chemist can actually make it there. You don't need a prescription. And what it does, it's a mineral that unplates your blood. So if uh, you have blood cancer, it's extremely helpful. Because cancer plates your blood. DCA, which is a mineral, unplates your blood. Uh, I suggest getting pure DCA. You're talking about maybe $100 for a bottle. That's about a three-month dose. And you're going to do is a very small amount in a bit of water because it's caustic. And the effects are noticeable. In academic studies, it was shown to reduce heart tumors by 70% in the first three weeks. Canada banned it with no discussion about five years ago, six years ago. They didn't want people treating themselves from cancer, which is an absurd suggestion. Growing food alongside a one-ton bags because they'd rather give you radiation to murder you, see? But DCA, D as in Dana, C as in Canada, A as in April. Apple. And every pharmacist knows exactly what it is when you ask them for DCA. You don't need a prescription and you don't have to see a doctor. You can just walk into any pharmacy and they will typically have it already sitting there. And if they have a compound chemist, it could be made on site. That's a good start. No, Dana, the radiation is all in the tanks, Dana. Not in, not in the bags and the farms. Imagine growing food alongside of one-ton bags. Imagine being that disconnected. Or it's not disconnected, it's actual evil. The industry is doing that. It, it revels in poisoning you. It revels in your death and your misery. It has stocks in the pharmaceutical companies. 
Genetic passport for major population exposed to nuclear radiation has deformed their genes. Radiation has zero good attributes. It has no good attributes. It's clear that low-level contamination is probably more dangerous than a single dose. Yeah, because you're constantly getting pulsed by energy at 286,000 miles per second every second for the rest of your life, wrecks your chromosomes, wrecks your DNA. Grasshopper with deformed wings, gray eyes not red, birds with abnormal sperm, strange large tumors. Well, there's nothing strange when you put nuclear into the equation. Everything all of a sudden makes sense. Imagine doing this show for a decade, but you can't even get 14 people on your show. Imagine. Imagine working like a dog every day, decade, and you can't get more than 14 people on your show. And all you do is tell the truth and be honest and try to help the world. It's called censorship. Truly one of the most cowardly industries conceivable is the nuclear industry. You can't work in the industry unless you're a coward and by proxy then a monster. There are no sparrows, says the bird watchers, or any other forms of birds. No, Dana, the radiation is all in the tanks, Dana. Radiation experts, alarming number of children with cysts, large lumps, and thyroids after Fukushima. And access to Japan's birth statistics is requested but never granted. No, Dana, the radiation is all in the tanks, Dana. Everybody on Earth is irradiated by Fukushima. Yeah, and they're shipping food worldwide from the nuclear wasteland to make sure you can't escape it. Cesium detected in the Virginian rain. Like, every time I heard the word cesium, it's humiliating. Cesium has been used to manipulate everybody for 80 years. It's bad, don't get me wrong. But there's a lot worse isotopes coming out of a nuclear meltdown. My goodness. The scientists worldwide have taken nothing but great pride in deceiving you and poisoning you at the same time. Can't be detected with your Geiger counters. Cesium-137. And plume forecast, again, the word cesium. In a plume forecast covered. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. Fukushima nuclear plume covered most of the North America. No, no, Dana, it's all in the tanks. Radiation is streaming into the atmosphere after reactor four boiled dry. No, no, Dana, it's all in the tanks. Forecast map of radioactive clouds shows threat to the U.S. West Coast. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks and the bags, Dana. Four million becquels per square meter of gamma in the soil near Chiba, right next door to Tokyo. No, no, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. It's like Russian roulette. Only 10% of the school lunches are checked. No, Dana, it's all in the bags in the tanks, Dana. Shocking. The officials made it mandatory to use food from Fukushima nuclear meltdown in the school lunches. 30 million one-ton bags they emit to. 70% of the children tested have radioactive cesium in their urine. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. Stop lying, Dana. 4,000 becquels a kilogram of cesium in the fog in Tokyo. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks. Nothing got out. Everything is in the tanks. Dana, stop lying. You know how many times I've heard that over the last 12 years? You've been in constant bombardment. Journalists find Tokyo indoor dust contaminated with 1,700 becquels a kilogram. Dust with Fukushima followed as a source of human radiation exposure. No, Dana, it's all in the bags, Dana. It's all in the tanks, Dana. Government session reveals 400,000 times 
normal radioactive xenon 133 levels in Chiba next door to Tokyo. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks and the bags, Dana. Newly released NRC email reveals radioactive technetium-99 with a 211 million year half-life. It's a nasty, brutal isotope, and you're guaranteed to find it after a meltdown, more so than cesium. 240 kilometers from the multiple ongoing nuclear meltdowns. No, Dana, it's all in the bags, Dana. It's all in the tanks, Dana. 14,000 U.S. deaths after Fukushima fallout. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks. It's completely harmless, Dana. Highly radioactive glass rained on Tokyo. 500 trillion beckles a kilogram. No, Dana, it's all in the bags in the tanks, Dana. Officials admit Fukushima deadly cover-up. Tepco president, we lied about the meltdowns. It's a cover-up. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. 60 million Japanese irradiated by Fukushima. 50,000 square miles, highly contaminated. No, Dana, it's in the tanks. Yellow rain recently reported in Tokyo also happened in Chernobyl. The government assured the residents it was pollen. This was March the 24th, 2011. It was snowing, folks. There was no pollen. Right? No, no, Dana was all in the tanks, Dana. The drinking water is unsafe for infants. It's unsafe forever. It's unsafe for everybody. It can't be just unsafe for infants. No, Dana, it's all in the bags. And my, oh, my, we got lots and lots and lots of bags. We got more than enough bags. They oh, Dana, it's all in the bags, Dana. Stop lying. Authorities hid the radioactive plume forecast to avoid the evacuation. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. Stop lying. High concentrations of radiation hit the U.S. and Canada. No, it didn't, Dana. It's all in the bags, Dana. It's all in the tanks. Government model shows Fukushima radioactive gas near Tokyo, 250 kilometers away at 10 billion times normal. 10 billion times normal. Recorded at all monitoring posts in the Northern Hemisphere. No, Dana, it's in the tanks, Dana. It's in the bags, Dana. Fukushima releases so great that radioactive aerosols in Washington, USA, were 100,000 times normal. No, Dana, it's all in the bags, Dana. Radioactive xenon in Washington was 450,000 times above detection levels. Burns a hole through your children's lungs and sequesters in their bones and then mutates their stem cells. It's all in the tanks, Dana. Stop lying. Stop lying. Very high concentrations of hot particles in the Pacific Northwest during April and May include the Plutonium and americium. Of course, americium within a few days decays to plutonium. No, Dan, it's all in the tanks. Map shows Fukushima fallout in the U.S. Radiation doses in the Northeast and Great Lakes are equal to the West Coast. But Dana, they told us it's all in the tanks and the bags, Dana. 70% of the children tested are contaminated. All of them outside the nuclear Fukushima prefecture were NAMI. They're going to move people back in to the middle of this cesspool of diseases and deaths by opening 3% of a ghost town. It's evil on a whole different level. It's a completely whole different level. Just like the censorship you're seeing right now. 15 viewers on a show I've been doing for a decade, five days a week. 
23 lousy votes. And you got to remember, this has been up since after midnight. This poll has been sitting there for about 14 hours, and that's all I got. Not censorship. It's just pure evil. Just pure evil to censor me like that. Why am I a threat with so few people on my show, I wonder? Pregnant women get a free new home if they move back to the nuclear wasteland. The world has never come across a situation like this. And yet every journalist sits in silence or comes out and lies. Pregnant women get a free new home if they move back to a nuclear wasteland. Think about that statement. Concerns over plutonium uranium being redeposited and reconcentrating far away. Isotopes transferred land via sea spray, aerosol, flooding, human exposure by inhalation, food, and contact. There's not a single redeeming quality to anybody in the nuclear industry. The United States banned agricultural and fishery products from 14 prefectures in Japan due to radioactive fallout. You know what? Because it's not in the tanks. New models show the U.S. was hit by the Fukushima cloud by scumbag Gunderson, who shouldn't have been in the equation in the first place. No, Dana, it's in the millions of one-ton bags, Dana. Baby food maker ignored information on radiation contamination for weeks. Initially concluded further investigation was unnecessary. A baby food maker. Evil knows no bounds. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. Five million beckles a kilogram and no decontamination. You can't even eat the food there, but they're forced to live there. How can you ever look a nuclear academic pro-nuclear in the face without spitting is beyond me. I can't. No, Dan, it's all in the one-ton bags and the thousand stupid tanks they built at the same time to trick you. Spears of radioactive material from Fukushima reported for the first time. This is the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs. They knew about this in the 40s and 50s and 60s, by the way. Ball-like particles composed of cesium, iron, zinc, solid, insolutable. Impact on human health is actually well known. It's lethal. No, Dana, it's totally all in the tanks, Dana. The Guardian Post uh, Fukushima film, reactors are not repaired at all. With one more quake, Japan will cease to exist. Resulting destruction will take half the planet with it. It already did, for goodness sakes. No, Dana, it's nothing left. It's all in the tanks. The bags are empty, Dana. It's all in the tanks. U.S. West Coast bore significant brunt of hot particles from Fukushima. Significant brunt. In other words, every species, every animal, every mammal, every insect, every human got poisoned by it. Radioactive materials were like cesium and uranium, plutonium and americium and neptunium and strontium and technetium are brought back to the surface soil each year by plant growth and pollination. Does that look like it's all in the tanks to anybody? Japan's accepting 20 millisieverts of radiation as safe could lead to a public health disaster. Not could lead, will lead. Scum degenerate monstrous Miles O'Brien, the one-armed bandit. Cheeseburgers and fries are a bigger risk than radiation. Imagine being that evil to say something like that. Imagine being that hideous you would say something like that. You know why they're cleaning up the farmer's field and nothing else?
because they know you're incapable of fighting them. They know you won't res uh, resist them. PBS, risk of getting cancer very, very small. Radiation, 10% to Chernobyl. PBS, front line. Trying to convince you that the world's biggest catastrophic event in history, period, compared, it dwarfs everything. It's only 10% to Chernobyl. I can guarantee you, if they were to say that to my face, they wouldn't have one left within a few minutes because I would beat the shit out of them right on the spot. Everybody should. Miles O'Brien, Cavalier Treatment, a potential increase in cancer, causes an absurdly low outlier. It's not, like PBS spent a lot of effort trying to manipulate and deceive you. It was really interesting. Yesterday was an unusual day. I picked up 11 subscribers, and I never pick up 11 subscribers. And I couldn't stream my show last night, no matter what. It was really weird. It was almost like they were afraid somebody was going to watch me. My last show only got 200 views. In 24 hours, I only had 160 views. I can't remember the last time I had that low of a number. And that was a great show. It was a fantastic show. See, I never lie. All I do is provide the documentation. And I provide even more for any of my assertions. There is nobody else doing this is the problem. It's heartbreaking that nobody else is doing it. Hi, everybody. You're welcome. Thank you. I know this is an unusual time, but uh, the check mark for shipping my videos out to my subscribers is inoperable. Right? Because normally you can check, do a check mark in my video that says after the show or during the show, the video goes out to my subscribers. Um, that's turned off on my site. It's not accessible. And I'm actually a YouTube partner, believe it or not. But yet, I don't have access to ship it out to my subscribers. Miles O'Brien, PBS, we've covered in many years. Incredible, hideous, monstrous people. No, Dana, the radiation is all in the tanks, Dana. U.S. government kept worst-case Fukushima scenario secret from the public. Possibility of radiation exceeding safe levels. There is no safe levels, by the way. For thyroid doses in Alaska, of course there was. U.S. government estimated showed 40,000 microsiever thyroid doses for infants in California from Fukushima. The data was not released to the public. It's not a high dose of children. It's a catastrophic dose. 5,500 miles away. See those one-ton bags? There's over 30 million of them. So if there's over 30 million one-ton bags, then the radiation can't be in the tanks, right? Will you give me that? Unprecedented phenomenon from using salt water in Fukushima. The reactors were long gone. When they used salt water, salt water was used to trick you. And they knew that that was going to create these sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs that would ingest the hot particles and become super hot particles that were incredibly mobile on top of that. No, Dana, it's totally all in the tanks, Dana. How many times have I heard that? All of Western U.S., most of the East Coast, Midwest, Canada, covered. Look up the word covered with airborne particles at various altitudes based solely on number one reactor explosion. Dana, no, Dana. It's all in the tanks. Tepco told me so, Dana. It's all in the bags. Dana, stop lying. 
groundbreaking study, 99% of the offsprings died after eating low-level waste. There is no low-level waste. Everything is dangerous. It can't be in the tanks if you got 30 million one-ton bags, for starters. There's a, that's a pretty big hole in their story, if you ask me. You got 100,000 times what considered normal in Washington, 5,500 miles away. It can't all be in the bag. And if it's all in the bag, it can't all be in the tanks. And it can't all be in the tanks because you got 30 million one-ton bags. Government model shows West Coast and North America to get the highest levels of Fukushima contamination until the 2030s, 2039, for at least another 15 years anyway. No, no, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. Tanks were built to manipulate everybody. And now they've gone to hell with that fable, haven't they? The U.S. is more contaminated than Western Japan. I'll show you, hopefully, maybe. I'll show you a model of the radioactive fallout. I like France's model. We got many models like this, by the way. I just happen to like France's because France is a scumbag country. So when France puts out a model that shows the entire planet covered in radiation in just 16 days, you should take notice. That's 16 days, the whole planet covered in radioactive fallout. So it's not in the tanks, obviously, or the bags. Radioactive silver detected in marine life. All water samples contain strontium-90. The thing about strontium-90 is it didn't peak for the first thousand days. Then it peaks for tens of thousands of days. And the ratio of strontium-90 per cesium-137 is 100 to 1. You've got 100 times more strontium-90 produced than cesium-137. Strontium-90, again, is a bone seeker. It goes into the bones of all the insects, the birds, the mammals, the animals, the children, the humans, and it mutates their stem cells on top of that. What do you think the result of that is going to be long-term, I wonder? Oh, that's right, extinction. Hot radioactive particles in Seattle at 50% of the hot radioactive particles in Tokyo latches onto the lung tissues and burns a hole through it and sequesters in the bones. No, Dana, it's all in the bags, Dana. Average person in Seattle breathed in 10 hot particles per day. It was infinitely more than that. There was 360 particles a day in California sequestered in people's and animals' testicles, for goodness sakes, each day. Imagine how much is in their liver and their kidneys. 8,000 kilometers in Japan contaminated with cesium-137 at 30,000 becquels a square meter. you got to multiply it by 100 to get the strontium-90. No, no, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. It's all in the bags, Dana, for goodness sake. Stop lying, Dana. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just trying to ridicule their story, right? In desperation that you wake up and fight back. Or at least support me. I don't know how we lasted this long. I really don't with such little support. I don't understand how the world expects me to fight this without supporting me. I really don't. There should be huge corporations, what I'm talking about, supporting me. There should be huge foundations. I should have 10 people working for me. We should have the shit, the guts, kicked out of the nuclear industry by now. We could have. We still can. We don't get any support. And Greenpeace was created as a distraction, as a, as a controlled opposition. Radioactive iodine found in Tokyo tap water. That's the end of it, see? You can never drink the water. The pipes are now contaminated forever. TEPCO ordered to pay for false rumors from Fukushima. 
Imagine how batshit lunatic you got to be to say that millions and millions. Look, they're building a greenhouse in a field surrounded by one ton bags of radiation. You got any idea how lunatic that picture actually is? You got any idea how insane that picture actually is? That's probably one of the most insane pictures imaginable. You got farmer rice fields where they got thousands of one ton bags. And what are they doing? That's as batshit crazy as that picture right there, right? Bear with me. Unprecedented. China bans all import of shellfish from the West Coast. Well, of course, you did the radioactive fallout blew right across the Pacific to the West Coast, right? That's, by the way, plutonium-239 dispersal model. No, no, Dana, it's totally all in the tanks, Dana. We're nuclear scientists. We wouldn't lie to you, Dana. Very high concentrations of hot particles in the Pacific Northwest include plutonium and americium. University research, we've seen radioactive rainouts in Oregon and Washington area with a lot more radiation. But I thought it was all in the tanks, you know. Apparently, they lied. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Eight months later, plutonium test results are still pending. Researchers compare Fukushima radiation to potassium. Imagine, now we've covered that several, at least several hundred times where researchers, so-called researchers, said that it was like bananas, which is what they're talking about when they talk about potassium. And claiming that if you put potassium in the fields that are contaminated with radioactive fallout, the plants won't take up the other radiation. Of course, this is not even voodoo science. This is ball face, uh, outrageous lies. The university is not going to hold him accountable. The university promoted it. They taught him to say these lies. There's enough evil to go around when it comes to nuclear. There's one thing we're sure of. One ton bags of radiation with super sports cars and people living in those houses because... They're complacent. They're they're sucked in by the lies, sucked in by the deceit, sucked in by the misrepresentation, sucked in by the disgusting media, the disgusting universities. So we've been doing the show for over an hour. We got forty one views. Forty one views. Forty one. After an hour. Forty one. 40 fucking one views. 41. Work like a dog and that's what I get is 41 views. Imagine how evil people really are in the nuclear industry. Because you probably can't. You can't accurately. I can come close but it's still hard. They're, they got evil on a whole different level. The lobbyists don't even have a single attribute of a human. And they're robbing you of your future. They're robbing you of your health. They're robbing you of your children. They're robbing you of your species. 
They're robbing your planet. They're destroying its future. It has no future. Imagine 41 fucking views after an hour. And what am I supposed to do? I got no choice but to do the show. How the fuck can I sit here in silence? How's that work? Radioactive plankton are so heavily contaminated, the food chains are for continuously carried southward from Fukushima. Oh, Dana, it's all in the one ton, the millions and millions of one ton bags of radiation and, and the tanks, Dana. It's completely safe, Dana. Of course, they won't say that to me because they know I'll tear their head right off the shoulder, right on the spot. There's not a nuclear academic on the planet would say that to my face. And I'll say it to your face. They won't say it to my face because they know out comes their eyeballs within a few seconds. Researcher found cesium over 50 million times normal levels. And cesium is the, one of the last ones I'm actually worried about, by the way. They use it to manipulate you. They use it to deceive you. They use it to coerce you. They use it to murder your loved ones. Why are you letting them vomit all over you? China's syndrome inevitable, says the architect of Fukushima Reactor 3. Let me see if we find a picture of Reactor 3 so you can appreciate how batshit crazy that statement is. Well, there is no China syndrome at Reactor 3. Reactor 1 and 2, but not Reactor 3. Reactor 3 went off like a firecracker. It left only a little tiny stump. Same as Reactor 4. There's nothing left. There was no China syndrome. Everything was expelled. But Reactor 1 and 2 and the four fuel pools in those buildings, as far as I can tell, particularly Unit 2 went China Syndrome. Not all of it because it burnt continuously for several days, but the majority of it. It's definitely not in the tanks. <laughs> Top scientists suggest contaminated water is actively being pumped into the ocean from the multiple ongoing nuclear meltdowns. Do you really think they evacuated all the communities because it's everything is hunky-dory at the disgusting disease factory known as Fukushima? And look at all the media over there that come out and try to trick you into believing that it looked like that. BBC, CBC, RT, physics.org. The despicable World Nuclear News, the disgusting coward at World Nuclear News. Leading director in Japan, nuclear power generation is the only invention that may destroy the future of humanity. Can't destroy humans without destroying all the other species first. We're, we were doing researches on spider for the last number of years, but say the last uh, three years in particular, on the East Coast now, we see the same thing. So I was out researching it, going across the province on the train tracks, camping out, looking for spiders, of course, other species. But in particular, paying a lot of attention for spiders. There should be half a million per acre. There was none. Nothing. Because normally the spider webs, you can find the species that are local to the area, right? There was none. And so... I was reporting on it that I had ran into an, an academic from Nova Scotia who was telling me the same story, and they were doing, uh, they were on vacation on the East Coast, and they were going across the province in their UTVs, their off-road machines, and he pulled into a campsite I had set up on a salmon river where I had my underwater submergible. And said, wow, that's pretty interesting. What are you doing? I said, well, I'm researching... And he said, well, we're researchers, too. And he showed me a whole bunch of pictures. Spiders are gone from Nova Scotia, too, he was telling me. So I reported it that night in a video, about a nine-minute video. I woke up the next morning. My site was gone with 24,200 subscribers. By the way, that's how many subscribers I had for four years. I never gained one, never lost one. In panic, the nuclear industry took my site down. And so the site you're currently watching this on is the new site that has barely grown in a year and a half. And that 
even on a good day, I can't get more than 35 people on a show. And before that, of course, with 24,200 subscribers, you could raise all the money you needed, you know, not enough, but more enough to do the job, and you guaranteed at least 300 views before the video was over. Now you're lucky to get 100. And that was 10 years of research, 10 years of presentations, 10 years of expeditions on that site, and I never even had a strike on it. And they took it because they could. They destroyed it because they could, because they don't have any opposition, and I was the only threat they had on the planet. And to them, I'm just a worm at best. They don't see me and you as humans, see? They see us as food, and they are fucking hungry all the time. Spiders are wiped out on both coastlines. We researched it, period. You can still find a lot of documentation at the nuclearproctologist.org, but you won't be linked anymore to my YouTube channel because the degenerate monstrous scum. And look, if this don't t scream scumbag, what actually does, I wonder? U.S. government secretly injected people with plutonium. Disabled school children were fed radioactive oatmeal. Disabled school children. So there was nuclear scientists say, hey, there's disabled children down the road. Let's give them radiation. We'll study them when they die. We'll incinerate their ashes and sniff it for the radiation. Because that's what they done. There was 800 pregnant women they'd done the same thing to, by the way. Imagine, that's how a nuclear scientist thinks of you. Because if you don't, you're, you're being stupid. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. In a Massachusetts school, 73 disabled children were spoon-fed oatmeal laced with radioactive isotopes. At a Tennessee clinic, 829 pregnant women were served vitamin cocktails and vitamin shots that were actually radioactive stuff from reactors. These are not acts of terrorism by common criminals, no. They're just some of the secret human radiation experiments the U.S. government conducted on victims for decades as part of its Atoms for Peace program. It's not illegal to kill you with radiation, see? Only the non-regulatory commission has the authority to make it illegal. The parliaments and governments don't have the authority. Only the nuclear regulation agencies have that authority. And there's zero, zilch possibility they're going to make it illegal to poison you with radiation. If they'd done that, they couldn't kill you in the hospitals all day, every day. Anonymous source... Community of 6,000 people were assumed to have evacuated from high radiation. They had not. Eventually it happened three months too late. So imagine school children walking past this each day to go to school because that's what's happening. Radioactive uh, workers dumping radioactive waste from Fukushima into the freshwater rivers. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. 12 million yen to censor Twitter being spent by a city that's burning radioactive fallout debris. No, no, Dana, it's all in the one-ton bags, Dana. In fact, dusty incinerators burning radioactive debris. Look at all the spots where they're burning radiation all across the country. They're shipping radiation to other parts of the country and burning it. No, no, Dana's totally all in the tanks, Dana. Like I showed you enough already that warrants every court on the planet trying to arrest these people for crimes against humanity. I showed you enough evidence to convict them too. International Atomic Energy Agency, which is the, the scum of the scum, the absolute scum of the scum, 
today admit that there is no such thing as a safe level and that the standards are based on natural, not man-made. You know, if 10,000 people went to one of their meetings and stabbed every one of them to death, it would be hard to convict them because when you looked at the evidence of what they'd done for their entire existence, it was warranted. The only way to save humanity was to kill everything in the International Atomic Energy, the head of the scumbag snake itself. No, Dana, it's all in the one-ton bags, Dana. It's all in the tanks, Dana. Comparing x-rays and CT scans are meaningless. Inhaling the radioactive particles increases the exposure by a factor of a trillion. Yet the IAEA standards are based on bananas, not on man-made anthropogenic radiation fallout. How can these people even look in a mirror? How does that actually work? Air samples in Tokyo, 270 times more contaminated with just gamma than global weapons follow peak. You know what that means? It's not in the tanks and you should evacuate Tokyo immediately. Any time in the future is never too late. You see these bags? Guess what? They're not in the tanks. Highly radioactive sewage, 30 plus miles from Fukushima. Cesium, again, every time I hear the word cesium, I want to beat the shit out of a nuclear scientist. Up to 334,000 beckles per kilogram. Do you really think cesium is going to be the only thing in the sewage? You know how the sewage gets that high? People ate it and excreted it. And you can't, don't excrete all of it. You only excrete a fraction of it. Incinerating the radioactive material contaminate, could contaminate the environment. Could contaminate the environment. Not could, but did. It was not in the tanks. It contaminated the environment. Tokyo government finds iodine-131 levels quadruple the cesium levels in the water reclamation centers. They can't get rid of the sediment. And we're talking, like there's one community, it's not that big of a community, has 50,000 one-ton bags of sediment from filtering the drinking water. It's too radioactive to get rid of the sediment from the water reclamation centers. You got the sewage is too radioactive. You got the incinerator dust left over is too radioactive to get rid of. You got the sewage, you got the water reclamation facilities is too radioactive to get rid of. No, no, Dana, it's, it's all in the tanks, Dana. It's all in the bags, Dana. Severe impact on oceanic environment, an unpredictable amount of damage to the Pacific. An unpredictable amount of damage to the Pacific. An unpredictable amount of damage to the Pacific, you say. I've launched research expeditions on the Pacific, the west coast of British Columbia, to Alaska for six years. For six years, I took those boats and plied the coastline and done research expeditions. It was, it was an extinction event. This was an extinction event. Here's the before and after pictures. We went back for six years. The species never came back. The species to your left are permanently exterminated. That's permanently exterminated. Permanently exterminated.
You'll never take the pictures to your left again. It's permanently exterminated because of Japan. Massive die-offs of sea creatures from California to Alaska. Animals are starving as the food chain continues to collapse. Well, there's no food left on the coastline, as you can see with your own two eyes. The pictures on the right, I repeated those research expeditions year after year. The species never came back. The species never came back. Massive die-off reported in the Pacific Ocean. There's no fish out there anywhere. What's happening? Where's the food? A total failure in reproduction. Nothing like we've ever observed before. See the species to the left? Was that worth sacrificing for the nuclear industry? 100% death rate of baby seals, none survived, starving, suffering from shortage of food. Because normally the seals can come ashore to your left and there's tons of food to snack on. Now there's nothing. Now it's completely empty. Ongoing fish famine along the U.S. West Coast, the dearth of food across the ocean. No, the pictures to your left, you'll never take it again. Was that worth sacrificing all those species for the nuclear industry? The West Coast bird die-off is the biggest ever recorded. The stomachs are completely empty. Never seen anything like it. Unprecedented in size, scope, duration. Well, you know, I'd done the research expeditions. When the birds came ashore to your right, there was nothing left for them to eat anymore. Everything was exterminated. The species to your left are exterminated. Right, see the birds to the left, there was lots of stuff. To the right, there's nothing left. They'll starve to death. Was it worth exterminating the species to your left? Is the only question you need to ask yourself. Did the nuclear industry have a right to exterminate the species to the left? Did the nuclear industry have a right to deceive you? And it never stops. The A-10 Warthog only shoots dirty bombs. Everybody that is in the nuclear industry has promoted... He said that nobody died at Fukushima, right? Uh, last year at Constipated Party 27. Everything is in the tanks, Dana. Everything is good. Stop your fear-mongering, Dana. The list is... I got so much, I can't keep up with it. Each rain will bring cesium into the neighborhood. But it's not just cesium. There's a thousand fission products. It's not in the tanks. It's everywhere but the tanks. The tanks are actually empty. If you go to my playlist, you'll find presentations. If you go into my playlist, you'll see lots of videos on the tanks. You get the, the marine and species uh, explained for you. You got the pictures uh, that were released two years ago from their drones, the original shots. All of them are uh, very important. They were all redacted. You got the millions of one-ton bags uh, explained. You got uh, the waste and water tanks explained, multiple videos of each subject. Hi, everybody. hope everybody's doing good. The playlist is full of uh, important resources for each facet of this story. There's uh, at least four videos there that explains the tanks, the lie. It shows you all the evidence you could ever dream of. 
All the information you ever need to convict them. Radioactive iodine in Guma at three sewage plants. Which, when you get radioactive iodine, like, that's December. What they're talking about is the uh, ongoing chain reactions, ongoing China syndromes, ongoing nuclear meltdowns. And when you see pictures like this, that should frighten the daylights out of anybody. Because they're picking up topsoil so they can continue to grow food. They just leave the bags there and kept growing food. The farmers are so complacent that they believe the fable. Oh, it's all good now, is it? We can grow food again. This is great. And then the people who eat it get sick for the rest of their lives or die, certainly prematurely. Tokyo neighbors see some approaching levels found in Fukushima. The incinerator dust left over. And, and one of the big lies that really got under my skin was for a couple of years, they were claiming it was okay to incinerate it because the radiation stayed in the dust. And they would say, well, uranium is one of the heaviest uh, isotopes out there, so it doesn't float away, which is absurdness. You can put two million uranium atoms on the head of a needle, but you can't see it. One thing the industry is good is just lies of convenience, lies of deceit. This is what they do for a living. They're professional, disgusting parasites. No, Dana, it's all in the bloody tanks, Dana. Billions of pieces of Fukushima fuel is spread pretty much everywhere. It's not billions. <coughs> like in Canada, the Kandu reactors in Canada and to the Great Lakes are legally each year allowed to release 34,000 million billion isotopes, uh, atoms, into the environment. Which is, that's enough to cover up, uh, that's like 10,000 pounds you're talking about, of just isotopes. It's enough to cover up a major catastrophic accident. They're legally allowed to do it because they can't contain it. It's not supposed to exist. And where they dump it into the Great Lakes is where the Great Lakes intakes, just a couple of hundred feet away, is the intakes for the drinking waters for places like Toronto with millions of people. You really think all of that is an accident? A coincidence? Wherever there's cesium, there's plutonium. The atomic bomb had one pound of uranium. Fukushima, not hundreds of tons, um, it's infinitely worse than that. Like, my goodness. So, just to come and spend fuel pool was around 68,000, 6,800 tons. That's gone too, by the way. This was a Chinese cartoon about sugar, Prime Minister Sugar, releasing the radiation to the Pacific. They were talking about the tanks, right? But it's obvious you can't. everything is not in the tanks because you can't have millions of one-ton bags and everything is in the tanks at the same time. You can't have all the sewage and garbage and water reclamation centers hemorrhaging radiation and everything is still in the tanks at the same time. It just physically doesn't work that way, right? 10 of the 12 sewage plants in Tokyo tested positive for endless radioactive fallout. 500 trillion becquels a kilogram in Tokyo means it's not in the tanks or the bags. Radioactive ash, 70,000 becquels a kilogram near Tokyo, means it's not in the tanks. The West Coast being hit with 220 million atoms per liter of 129 iodine with a 15 million year half-life. And by the way, there's 10 half-lives. So all the insects and birds and mammals and your children, your loved ones and yourself, all the animals, everything, 
thyroid glands get saturated with iodine-129 means you're mutating it now into radioactive hormones in all species, not just humans. The minute you start including all the other species is the minute you start coming up with reality. You start addressing the reality of the issue. And so my heart attack, uh, three of them last month, uh, blew out my eyesight. I got to wear glasses all the time now. Even just to watch TV. Where before I had heart attacks, I could just literally do everything but close reading. I would need small letters. I would use the glasses. But after three heart attacks last month, three weeks in the hospital and surgery and everything, when I got home, the first thing I noticed was my eyesight was shot for reading and anything up close to me. And it is what it, and I got to get new glasses. My glasses are no longer proper glasses because of the heart attacks, right? And I can't afford them. They're expensive. But I got I got no choice. I got to get new glasses because that's hurting my eyes, right? I can get away with it from reading the screens close to me, though, but a little disappointing. That was uh, the emperor, is it, of Japan in this car here? He's about six miles away from the ongoing multiple nuclear reactor meltdowns and eight fuel pools that melted down. And the media said... Um, the emperor suddenly looked in the direction of Fukushima and with sadness in his eyes. First off, he's six miles away or something. Okay, it's so easy to lie for a journalist that telling the truth seems impossible. 600 kilometers from Fukushima, high levels of gamma detected in Osaka. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. It's the duty of the scientific community to lie to the public about radiation. Think about that statement. It's the duty of the scientific community to reduce the public's fear and anxiety about radiation. That was Geraldine Thomas from uh, United Kingdom, a despicable subhuman creature that has reveled in going worldwide Look at all these people walking around in paper suits with no dirt, no tears into them, on steel plates, no less. Uh, first, first off, uh, this is Photoshop. I don't know what he photoshopped it, but that's one hundred percent photoshopped. Uh, if the tanks were actually full of radiation, you couldn't stand up within a thousand feet of it without getting a lethal dose. 88% of cesium in radioactive ass might be at risk of being transported away from Japan's landfill by wind and rain. 88%. No, 100%. The ash is not just going to sit there when it rains. No, Dana, it's all in the tanks, Dana. Workers say the ground under Fukushima plant is cracking and the radioactive steam is coming up. The melted cores are leaving the buildings. It's not in the tanks. It's everywhere but the tanks. Massive radioactive waste buildup in Tokyo's suburbs. Of course it is, because it's not in the bags. It's not in the tanks. It's everywhere but. The steam coming out of the ground at 4.7 sievers per hour is 20% more than June. That's a lethal dose. Three sieverts is a lethal dose to any species, let alone humans. They're going to die within a couple of weeks from a very short exposure. So imagine being there in your paper suits. How do you survive that environment? Well, you don't. They kick you loose because you're, you're showing signs of being sick 
And then they say, well, mail you your check in a couple of weeks. They don't bother because they know you're going to die in the next week or two. The tanks were built to trick you. And it seemed to work really well. Fukushima official outraged the grave problem. Workers are dumping, dumped the waste because they removed more radioactive material than expected. So they just dumped it in the rivers and the estuary. Government raised contamination standards to limit payments of relocation money because, you know, it's not in the tanks. Plutonium will no longer be measured, almost impossible for a normal person to detect. Yeah, my Geiger counters can't measure plutonium, but I can extrapolate that with math when I look at numbers from the Geiger counter. If it was all in the tanks, why have you got 30 million one-ton bags? Public outcry over Japan's government monitoring tweets and blog posts. Program begins this month to continue until March. If it's uh, if you got millions of one-ton bags, how can it all be in the tanks? Radioactive iodine found in 50% of the children's thyroid. 35,000 microsieverts. But see, there, there's lots of people stupid enough to believe the government. There's a prime example. So stupid, so complacent, getting his picture taken in front of one-ton bags of radiation is the actual definition of idiot. We're going to, this is the end of the show. We're going to cover this story starting on the next show. Japan, Fukushima wastewater to reach Taiwan in 1.5 years. So, like, Taiwan knows better, folks. The radioactive fallout is 19 days, not 1.5 years. This is 2011. After 468 hours, it covered the entire planet. Not, not in 1.5 years, but in 19 days. So 19 days it covered the entire planet. Well, that was the show we were trying to do last night. I'm doing it early today because I didn't want to do this today. I wanted to take the day off to try to recover, right? Yay, we made it through. <laughs> <laughs> I like a bit of a marathon. I tried for two and a half hours last night. We couldn't do the show. Now, I streamed uh, the preamble this morning for an hour. There was no interference. And I also had a uh, high-quality movie playing in the background and another video on my other computer playing. And the bandwidth didn't drop. I didn't have any warnings. So I was streaming two huge uh, bandwidths, but there was no decrease on the player side. And so then I turned them off, and then I went live, because we knew for sure we had tons of bandwidth, right? All righty, so... Um, I have two links at the bottom of my description for people to donate. I'm begging people to donate. We're struggling to raise any money. And it's already a, an absurd struggle for me. So anything is a great help. There's uh, one link is to my PayPal in the very bottom of the description. The other link is to my website for credit cards or, or cards like Google Play or Apple Cards. And you'll see a list of different cards. That's about half of the cards that you can donate with. So you can go out and buy ten or fifteen dollar cards from Apple and Google and donate at my site with them, right? Not that anybody does, but you can. And I went through a lot of work to set all that up, but nobody's ever used it. Uh, I I don't know how to give up, so I apologize. And I can't do it on my own if people don't help me. And so uh, the struggle is real for me. It's absurdly real. And it's not right. It's absurd amount of struggle that I go through constantly to fund this operation. And all I can do is hope that people come along 
and understand the significance of what we're up against and that this is the only operation worldwide that runs an educational program. And without it, we are left without being able to educate the population, able to make... We're trying to make a difference for you, your loved ones, your friends, your families. We're at war to fight every for every species on this planet. And we're doing it basically on a piggy bank of change and it's just not tenable I can't keep up with the expenses and so again I have to humiliate myself and ask people to donate because if I don't then the operation falls apart and the industry you think the industry would fund me so they have someone to pick on as bizarre as that statement sounds there's a lot of people that are paid to attack people like me, because there's only me. So it's a very, very heavy burden when you can't fight back against so much evil. I should have a thousand, a thousand organizations helping me. I could actually, with any proper foundation support me, I could destroy the nuclear industry in about one year with any decent funding. I could actually destroy this industry. Right now I'm limited to YouTube and that's not gonna... It's something, see? I built the whole operation and put it all together over many, many, many years. We got all the kinks out of it and we need organizations, we need foundations, but they're all captured by the industry. Disappointing anyway, to say the least. We're going to end the poll. We got 13 people on the show and we got 40 votes. <laughs> That's not censorship at all. But I wanted to put the show out there, otherwise there's no show until Sunday. I wanted to do it yesterday because I'm burnt out. I'm still trying to recover. I'm still sleeping all day long. But the war must go on, so it doesn't matter. I still have to go to war every day. That's the reality, right? Thank you, everybody. Hugs for everybody. Have a great day, a great weekend. Theoretically, I'll be back Sunday. If I'm not back Sunday, I'll be back on Monday. Depends on how burnt out, um, you know, this four shows and this, this week is a tough gig for somebody recovering from multiple heart attacks and surgery, right? But the other option is there's no resistance and that's simply not acceptable. We'll see everybody in a few days. Have a great night, a uh, great weekend. Tomorrow's Friday, actually, right? So have a great Friday and a great weekend. We'll see everybody soon enough. Take care, everyone. made it this far don't forget to give us a thumbs up i'll see everybody in a few days take care folks <laughs>